On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we return to the Hollow Earth with Godzilla X Kong The New Empire with action monsterverse figures from Playmates Toys. We might also return to Micro Machine City where Godzilla and Kong often like to hang out. Wait a second, wait a second, there seems to be a development. They're diverting the traffic away from the battle. That is so nice. Oh, wait a second, it's a trap. They diverted the traffic up the ramp into their mouths. Ah! <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Well, six figures are in this first wave from Playmates Toys. We'll go through them. We've got Godzilla, Godzilla Evolved, Kong, of course, with the Beast Glove, Suku, Soko is here, Scar King, and Shimo, 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 how do I pronounce some of these, uh, available in our first wave. So follow along as we go through, figure these out, and learn all about the new empire and other things that happen at Micro Machine City, of course. So I would like to start with Godzilla, how we have seen Godzilla in the last few movies. Godzilla with Heat Ray, Playmates Toys, Basic Edition. There we have Godzilla with Heat Ray, harness the awesome power of Godzilla's thunderous roar and devastating tail swipe as the King of Monsters battles other titans to maintain his rule. I think we've seen this figure very many times with the Heat Blast Ray. It's a classic, you don't mess with classics, right? Let's get him out a pack. Some Zilla assembly required. And I gotta say, I like the box. You just snip these out and you can kind of peel away the plastic to get underneath without destroying box. You could technically place back in and display. Oh, look at Zilla. He's got a nasty gash up there in his torso. Oh my, he may need to evolve. I don't know about you. What do you think? Is he gonna need to evolve? Ouch. Let's install the tail. Oh, that's really tight. And let's heal him up a little bit for the sake of on the table. What do you think about this, Zilla? Dark, menacing, powerful, deep scaling, blue plated back. Yeah, that's a classic look of the Godzilla we've seen the last few years. These figures are scaling in at about six stories tall, or six inches, however you ratio that, and about 10 inches from tail to head. Articulation-wise, we've got shoulder rotation, 360, opening and closing lower jaw. Those legs are going to move about 90 degrees, maybe just a little less. And that tail was on a joyful ball joint. And of course, if you'd like to heat things up, add a heat blast in there. Did I get that going the right direction? Feels a little bit low. We can rotate that head a little bit, too. Feels like it's kind of stuck, though. I might need to work on that. Try the head going this way. There, that's more like it. The heat blast is now in the correct direction. I had it focused ground zero, I guess. Really quite awesome in power, really quite shredded in that belly region, and really quite possibly a repeat. Uh, just bringing out my old 2020 Godzilla, I realized this guy has a little bit of a similar chest ripoff feature. Almost matching this dude's in power. What do you think, squirrels? Are these the same skin scrapings from both of the figures? They look almost identical. But I do see some differences in the figures. Overall, they're very similar to one another, only I can see this one with a more angled leg, this one with a more straight. Other than that, besides the radical plastic color difference, they're looking to be, I think it's a repeat, or a reissue, or just a adjusted modified figure, but it's so different in the color scale, I think it works just fine. Don't forget your skin scraping, dude. Oh, and there goes Godzilla 2020 over on over to Micro Machine City now. And so, obviously, with the big feature of Godzilla right now is the evolution process. So let's check out his friend Godzilla Evolved, or shall we say Godzilla's self, himself new friend as himself. Okay, yeah. So I think this is the one you're probably going to want to focus more with in Godzilla X Kong, the new empire, the new Godzilla Evolved. He has a little more green in that tone and a little more salmon pink red in those back spines and a slimmer body look. For sure more primed for battle over on the back. Godzilla Evolved. 
Godzilla has evolved into an all new form. Now faster, stronger, and more powerful, Godzilla thunders into battle with a supercharged heat ray and city destroying tail swipe. Yeah, you can kind of see he just has more of an agile body. We checked that out in the giant scale figure earlier. Had a bit of a tummy tuck, arm extension, something to really pack a better punch when fighting monsters. Shall we remove then? And evolved out of pack. So what do you think about this one? For sure more agile. Shed some fat, shed some whatever to become this. Arm reach greater. Fighting stance more pronounced, ready to tackle on any feet. Guys, careful, don't be crossing those heat ray blasts, that would be bad. I think this is the better figure of the two, just because it's more modern and new. I do, of course, like classic, but I like to see the new stuff. That head, mm, so far, stuck down pretty tight. But we have articulated arms to reach out, and legs again that give you only about less than 90 and the tail once again we installed on a ball joint. The big new color on his tail spines now in red, although it appears more salmon in color or a red orange, red pinkish tone, but I like how they glow in the light. They are translucent, transparent, so some light will pass through, unlike our previous Godzilla here with the blue classic scales there. These two look really fun together. I like how they turned out. There's also a really nice Playmates Toys Godzilla evolving Godzilla a figure of this scale I'm still trying to search for, but basically you de-skin and evolve this Godzilla and underneath is this one. It's got a rubbery skin around it. It's a really cool figure, I've seen it just once so far. Now I'm kind of wishing I did pick up. But these two looking great. I really like how they turned out and now we gotta get Kong. Kong joining the team. Guys, be nice to Kong. You're here to help him this time, right? Right? I don't know what's going on exactly yet, but here's the Kong figure with B-E-A-S-T glove. Beast glove. Really detailed looking. The package design of this series has just been so popping with the crystals. Kong with beast glove, bio-enhanced, auto-mech, seismic thunder glove. Ah, finally I've got the uh, acronym going. Bio-enhanced, anatomic, seismic thunder glove. That's hard to say fast. Armed with this ancestral axe and a prototype, a battle gauntlet that enhances his earth shattering primal strength. Why would you want to do that? Kong roars into battle, packing a meteor impact with every bunch. The beast glove certainly lights up the figure, this bright yellow arm. I like that attachment. Plus we have a biomimic heavy vehicle included. Good looking Kong so far. Let's get out of pack. And Kong thundering out of pack. What do you think about this new look Kong? Pretty powerful with that beast glove, right? More scratches evident on that torso section. He really got a pounding in Godzilla versus Kong. Certainly just a horrific roaring face and a pretty well proportioned body with lots of points of articulation. We've got great shoulder rotation. They always reach out. They do a good monkey verse work with Kong here at his shoulders, an important part for reaching out and punching. Elbows that also do the same with hinges and rotation and some rotation in that wrist. It's just really tight right now. This side maybe a little bit less. I think this wrist is solid into that beast glove. That beast glove adds a little bit of weight to this arm. Head rotation maybe. Yeah, we've got some head rotation, which is nice. We can roar him from one side to another and hips that bend and hinge and rotate. And those knees are also a nice touch in there on this figure. It's a really nice balanced figure. Maybe only missing his ancestral axe is not included, even though it says armed with his ancestral axe. Now I checked the package pretty thoroughly. He does not come with his ancestral axe. If you want an ancestral axe, which is also fun to say, you gotta go back to your 2020 Kong. We've got an axe included with that one still. Looks naked without the beast glove. So looking at these two together, how similar do they look? New Kong in a darker color tone. I like that tone much better. This one was a little bit too muddy brown. Certainly different back sculpt. This one is much more fluffier. Obviously the arms are different. This one had battle damage. This arm a little more softer. So yeah, I feel like this is a brand new complete figure here. Unlike Godzilla there, we had a little bit of a double. Definitely better head sculpt too. Look at the head. This new one has a little more layer to it. I like it. Funny though, this one here is a little bit of a lighter tone. This is darker. They kind of flip the tones a little bit on the full size of the figure, but I think this one works out much better. The teeth, yeah, these teeth are big, goofy white. This one just about right. But you get that axe, which is a really nice little touch on this older one. 
Glad I kept mine around still. So there we go, that's Kong. Kong turned out excellent for the six inch figure scale. Is he about six inches? He is, so they are all matching pretty well so far. How about you guys, while we get into the next few figures, why don't you take a break over at Micro Machine City? You can work out some of those stiff articulation joints and maybe some training with the Beast Glove. These two love to fight and throw down at Micro Machine City. Whoa, what a hit by Kong. I think Godzilla is evolving again. Nice evolve, Godzilla. Careful with all the citizens down there. Wait, now? It seems they've gathered all the citizens into the battle block to protect them. They're protecting the citizens from other monsters. No, no, no. They just trapped the citizens again and selling them for easy money. A three for one special to King Ghidorah is a lot of profit. All right, three new titans from Godzilla x Kong the New Empire to meet or get pronunciation of their name wrong. We had checked out earlier the Scar King with Whiplash and the giant scale figures. Lots of fun. This one almost the same, just in six inch scale. Then we have a Shimo. Did I get that right? Or is it Shimo? A Shimo Shimo with Frost Bite Blast there. Looking really good. A hard one to find on shelf. Then we have Suko with Titanus Doug. Or it's kind of like a dog, but Doug, right? She, Suko with the Titanus Doug. So three new figures here to check out. They're all looking quite awesome. Well, let's go with the Scar King, the new boss, first with Whiplash. I'm still having trouble seeing him as a main villain because he looks thinner than Kong, but he must just be larger. Over on the back, Scar King with Whiplash. The evil Scar King rules over his fiery Hollow Earth Kingdom, wielding a Whiplash and commands an unstoppable army to destroy Godzilla and Kong and conquer the world, of course. I really don't think he's going to fit in the White House, or maybe he'd use the Eiffel Tower as his throne, I don't know. Fully articulated with removable whiplash. And so, let's whiplash out of pack. And, whoa! Scar King, we didn't see that, no one saw that, out of box. Oh, we saw that. Scar King unboxed with whiplash whipping a whip about, what do you think? He's bright orange with white, I keep saying the bodies those skinned body sculptures. He just appears so small in figure form. Is he really six inches tall with the rest of them? Oh no, he's about five and a half inches. Kind of funny, they should have scaled him up just a little bit larger, even for this figure series. He's a little bit light on plastic, so they had some, some budget, I would think. His whiplash keeps coming undone. You can kind of peg it together and waste it around his body, and of course, use it as a whiplash. Maybe by adding that gives it a little more table space there. Articulation-wise, pretty much similar to Kong, I believe, with head rotation, shoulders that pin and reach out, elbows that do the same, wrists, a waist, upper torso. We saw that with the large figure, I believe, too, which is a nice little added touch, especially for, for whipping. <laughs> you gotta have that whipping articulation, uh, hinges and needle pinning, and the same thing. Well, just a hinge there on his knee and no, nothing on those uh, ankles. But he's certainly small. Let's get Kong back out. Kong, can I borrow you from your battle for a second? I mean, I'm looking at Kong here and Kong is just terrifically huge. He's gonna wipe the floor with whiplash, especially with some help from his buddy Godzilla. We'll see, this guy must just appear much larger on screen. Right now in toy form is a little scrawny. But I do appreciate the articulation they give this figure. It, it makes for some interesting position posing. And an accessory whiplash spine is also fine. I've been wanting to say that all day. So I think between the other two left, we've got Suko and Shimo. I think more often you're gonna find Suko in store. So let's go with this first. I believe Shimo might be short packed and harder to find. Suko, also a new character, maybe son of Kong. Giant juvenile simian titan from the Hollow Earth. It's gonna be fun to meet this character on screen. There we go, on back. It's cool they have a secondary figure with this pack too, with Titanus Doug. Suko, with Titanus Doug, don't let his size fool you. Suko is a scrappy fighter with raw primal strength and a bad attitude who always has Kong's back. Titanus Doug looks to have some things too. Let's open up. Whoa, out. Suko and Doug, this is a good combo pack. I wouldn't hesitate to reach out to this one first, really. Having both Suko and a fun little Titan to play with. They have plenty of points of articulation and clever and clever design. They'll be fun. What do you think? 
I want to say we actually saw Titanus Doug Doug Dog sometime in uh, Godzilla vs. Kong there in the background of the Hollow Earth. Kind of like a morphed up big gray squirrel alligator type. Hey. Doug has articulated legs there, but it's kind of going to have to be in one position to get them flat on the ground there. And a tail that has a little bit of funness to it. You can kind of play with that. Head there. A lot of these, they seem to have a... There we go. They seem to have a, a point there on their heads, but they often don't always turn. But I got this one going now. Not that you'd want his head upside down. So you kind of just want to place him like so. Maybe give a ride to Suko to the uh, carnival. Ah, isn't Suko cute and or terrifying, depending on how, how dead he looks in the animation style. Uh, articulated pretty well, like Kong with shoulders and elbows. A waist rotation point that just kind of does 360, which is kind of funny. Head rotation too, probably. Big green eyes. Hinges on those hips and knees, and even some rotation on both the feet and wrists, I see. Plenty of points on him. And an accessory rock. I almost thought it was like a back of a skull, but I think it's just a stone. Maybe it has significant meaning. I can't get him to hold it. He had it holding on the box, and I kind of want to do this. <laughs> this is just, you know, going to happen for sure if you get these two. It's a quick ride into battle. So they're, oh, oh no. So they're quite fun. It's quite a fun pack. Again, I wouldn't hesitate to pick this one up first just because of the combo funness of it. Oh, and scaled next to Kong. Where's Kong? Kong needy again. Bringing in Kong here. You can see Suko pretty short compared to him. Maybe standing up to about his half point, halfway point there. Let's get a quick measurement of Suko. Probably about three inches. Oh, about three and a half inches, actually. So keep an eye out for this pack. I, I had more fun with it than I thought I would. Oh, look there. They took a break from the battle, and they're letting the citizens get some fish and chips. That's so nice of them. Oh, no. It was a trap. They were just fattening up the citizens of Micro Machine City so that Suku could come by and eat them and get bigger. <laughs> And our final titan, the hard to find Shimo, Shimo, Shimu. Anybody want to help me with the pronunciation in the comments? Please do. If you see one of these on shelf, pick it up. Shimo with Frostbite Blast, certainly a largest titan in the six inch pack, I believe. It is really filling up this pack. Feels scaled larger than Godzilla, almost feels like something from How to Train Your Dragon. Do I have an Ice Blast Dragon I'm forgetting about? On backup box. Shimo with Frostbite Blast, a legendary ice titan with unstoppable world ending powers. Shimo faces Godzilla and Kong with devastating Frostbite Blast that can freeze opponents in battle. Oh, this will be so much fun on screen. Fully articulated and posable. More Frostbite Blast accessory piece. Oh, I'm so glad and excited I found this one to share with you. I did not think I'd find this one, honestly. And I've seen markups already for like 30 or $40 on eBay. So again, it's it's a hard one to find. Keep an eye out for it. Let's get Shimo, Shimo out of pack. And Shimo out of table. Shimo, hard to capture on film, so bright and white on my white table. Good thing I spilled a little blue alien ooze on the bottom there to see. Pretty good though, pretty interesting, fun looking titan. Radically different than pretty much everything we saw today. Shimo with quite the lengthy body, what do we have in measurement? Almost 10 inches and about 5 inches up to those spines. And like the others of this series, articulated pretty well. We've got a head bobbing feature, uh, rotation and hinge. Also opening and closing jaws. Of course, we have an ice blast somewhere. Then we have shoulders that rotate and hinge outwards. There's even some positioning on those feet, back legs on just a point of rotation. They do not reach out and a little bit of articulation on those feet too. I like how the feet can be positioned in various ways. Tail on a ball joint. Deep blue translucent back spine. That would have looked good on a Godzilla too. Well, a little bit of purple, deep blue purple coloring, a little bit painted down the tail there. Often I wish they could uh, replicate that down the tail without paint, but I get it. And head sculpt, very dragon-esque. I'm kind of seeing in Kylosaurus maybe a little bit. More so dragon really, not really any kind of dinosaur I'm seeing yet. Terrific in possibilities for positioning. They've improved their six inch figure line at Playmates Toys. When they first started doing Godzilla, they were a little static, but now they're getting a lot more motion. 
and so how to install a frostbite. I like how a lot of these blasts come out and around with the mouth feature. There we go, bite down on that, shooting translucent ice fire. Ice fire, can that be a thing? Firing ice. What a pleasant figure to behold. Maybe you would like to go play at Micro Machine City too. Well, now they're all having fun in the Micro Machine City verse. Lots of punches being thrown. Shimo holding ground really well. I think Godzilla wants to play king of the mountain and climb on top. Oh, oh no. And there we go, Monster vs. Figures, Godzilla x Kong, the new Empire. What do you think? Pretty solid collection here from Playmates Toys this time around. I enjoyed them much. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel live, squamit your favorite new character. Don't forget to squamit. Are you a superior squirrel watcher? In this winter quarter, we are trying to find out who's going to win a t-shirt by the most commenting or somehow we'll figure that out. There's the rules. Uh, thanks so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.